this is my first sample sale since moving to New York. Um, I'm really excited to see what's in store. And yeah, that was me making a very bad dad joke because I love a good dad joke, not gonna lie. I found a sample sale, so we're gonna go check it out. Some other things planned to record and edit, but this could be really fun. So here we are, 260 final sale. Never been before, but welcome to my first sample sale, everybody. We've got some shoes, which maybe I should consider because I probably do need some better closed toed shoes for the winter and the fall. Okay, we've got some like tops, dresses, coats. Mm -hmm. Athleisure. And you know I love denim, so I'll probably be taking a look at these. This is Kat. She's gonna be so mad at me. The first one was like not it, it. not what Kat was looking for. So on the subway heading to the other sample sale at I guess it's probably the flagship location. So let's see what happens. Alright, waiting in line. Uh, it's not too bad. Way better location already. FYI, way better. And everything is $45 today, so I am buying something for sure. Okay. Mm, you can tell. It's good color on me or not. I don't know. I did buy things right here. But it's a communal dressing room and I will not be reporting other people. But positive experience, I will say. Uh, so I will be doing a try on as soon as I get home. I went to Fumo who has an amazing $12 pasta lunch special. Yeah, it's probably like my favorite thing. And this Alfredo, it hits. It can hits. For the record, I'm five feet tall and about 125 pounds. This is a long sleeve sweater dress that I picked up at the sample sale. I will take a photo and move that next to me so you can see the full thing, but I really like this dress. It'll be great to like add some necklaces to, hair up, hair down, and it'll be good for the winter. I can also wear it with some nice fleece line tights and boots. And what I do love about it, again, is that this dress is petite friendly. Again, I'm five feet tall and this works for me. I love it. This is dress number two. Again, I'm five feet tall and it's barely on the ground which I like. It is one dress, it's one piece of material, and it has a nice cute little side cutout. I might even wear this tonight to the dinner that I'm going to because I feel like it'll just be super cute. I love the color orange. I know that it's sleeveless and the temperatures are dropping right now, which means good for layering. And I'm excited to have this for going out and doing stuff in the city. I got one more thing. Let's check it out. And lastly, I bought this top, which, here's the back. Really different from anything I currently own. I almost didn't buy it, but the fitting room was like a weird like chasm in the universe. And I'll be talking about that just in a second, but I really like it. I normally don't opt for things that make my shoulders broader because my shoulders are slightly more broad than the rest of my body. It's like actually the widest point for me when you're looking at me from the front. But I just loved this. It was just giving like housewives in a way. Like I could see maybe like Lisa or Kyle wearing something like this in a confessional or like with jeans and like hot pink shoes just to like walk the streets of where they live when they're having to spread some information. But I really loved it. And now I'm gonna talk a little bit more about what the fitting room was like, because again, it was this weird, beautiful moment in time that I just wanna capture. Overall, I think I made out quite well for my first sample sale. Everything being $45, yes please, I need to go to more sample sales, clearly. unlike anything else I've ever been part of outside of being drunk in a woman's restroom. I spent most of my life in a fat body and having difficulty buying and finding clothes that look cute on me because I was 
short and fat. That's a hard, hard place to be in. And I've had enough traumatizing experiences of buying clothes in person, which is probably one reason why I love to shop online. It's less humiliating based off of my own life experiences. And one of those life experiences includes a communal fitting room for a few. I'll never forget being in college and having to go to communal fitting rooms with my absolutely stunning and very thin roommates and friends. Being unable to find clothes, not being able to afford things, it was really hard. And it's something that has stuck with me to this day. But the fitting room at 260 was awesome. Everyone was so kind. We were helping each other, giving opinions. If somebody had an item that was too small or too large and somebody else had the same thing and the size they needed, we were swapping. We were saying like, oh, I think this would look good with that. Like, well, you look so great in this too. And it just made me so happy and so excited about the experience and wanting to buy clothes. I wish that we had more of those experiences in life, especially with strangers. We're all going through things at all moments in life. And I think there's a lot of room for more women uplifting women outside of the workplace. I'll never forget getting a compliment when I was just walking home after hanging out with Kat one time from two nice young women who told me that I was pretty and I started crying. The short is there. You can see it. I was crying. I'm someone who likes to pay compliments to strangers too. I'm always down to hype people up and make them feel good. And I think that's something we can all do a little more of. So I'm going to close this video asking everyone to say the nice thing to the stranger. You might make their day. Thanks for sticking around and I'll see you 